But 36 now, again, Splice in control. They can close it down, but most likely because of the context, now the rotation needs to happen. Fabi, you've got it, Fabi, you've got it. Are they going to be able to take it? Fabi, he's here. Oh, 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 what a dramatic oh, fashion. Phenomenal play by the Germans. They were 100 points down at one point. They come out of that, and Barca, he was 0 and 8 at one point. Look at this from Gunnelly. He makes two kills there, and that is the most important kill he will make this weekend. They win first map, 1-0. Wow, wow, wow. The German eating things up in the arena from me. We're in the back of the studio. I can hear this crowd getting pumped up and I think they are entertained. It was so great. They never, never, never gave up. And Barca, what a performance out of him. I love this player. Now look at that, 34 and 28, but I mean, yes, okay, that's a pretty decent score, but off the back of a 0 and 8 from him as well, it's not a negative 8 down that's without 30, a kill. 20. That, that is a phenomenal player by him to step it up after an initial bad wow. start from look him. look at Splice. Oh man, that is going to be a kick in the teeth. They were leading that game, they had that in the, their hands. That was literally their game to lose for the majority of it. Look at Wrigley, this is a team that they need to... Down for a second, because the players and ourselves are going to need to uh, just uh, have a breeze. Um, it was definitely one hell of a map now going into search and destroy it's going to be more of a slow pace we've seen vitality against infuse on this exact map i'm expecting a lot of aggression on that b side maybe snipers coming into play as well Overall, I would say the ban and protect are, is going to be extremely important on this map as well as we've seen I want to stress again that protect a flag jacket on the first uh, on the very first map was extremely important because if you think about it not form but the smoke's an interesting one for me. We'll touch on that again after the specialist draft, but at the same time, let's see what's going to happen here. I want to see gravity spikes from Kivi again. I, feel, I honestly feel like all of everyone we've seen this weekend is the one that uses uh, gravity spikes the best, always picks up the right time to do it. However, he's not going to use it on that SND game, which does make sense. Gonna go with Psychosis. Active Camo actually being picked on both sides, respectively, by Quickie and Benz. Annihilator on both sides. Josh gonna go with the overdrive, and I think Gun Elite might do the same. Well, let's have a look. It's gonna be similar. Exactly yeah. similar. Exactly the same for both the teams. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's coming to be expected. And mm -hmm. Annihilator is a little bit of a different Only one. weapon. Yeah, only one, one weapon. Yeah. Only one weapon a piece, uh, putting it in the hands of. Probably your best two sellers in, in those maps. Barca had a fantastic game and really played very, very well as well with the Annihilator. But other than that, side courses, active camo and overdrive used on both sides. There's your Fabi squad. Wow, well, again, I mean, I'd imagine Twitch going crazy the right now. The momentum that you build off a map like this, this is honestly the best comeback I've seen so far on Black Ops 3, especially going in such an important game. Let's remind what's in stake. This is the chance to qualify for the pro division of the Call of Duty World League. The league that everyone has been waiting for, the thing they've been playing for, and three of these players, they are veterans, but Barca, this is his first tournament as a professional player going up against one, some of the best players the UK has to offer, and even in Europe, and he's showing up so hard. I have respect for that dude. Well, here we go. Let, guys, let us know at our Twitter. I mean, I'll let you read yours out because I can remember at underscore two for me. Let me who, know who you think is going to win this game. I really do not know now. I, I'd splice down to win it. Well, Fabi come firing out the blocks. Now, now I mean, I mean wow. everything's to be expected. I'm well, Gio, we owe you some apologies. We shouldn't, <laughs> we shouldn't have adopted your amazing predictions. You've been doing so well as an analysis, and once again, you've proven you know this squad very well. This EVAC map was definitely one they could take it. A Kiwi, Gun Elite, Bukwiki, Barca, they're kind of show, showing up like as heroes of mainland Europe and Germany, but <laughs> they fly the flag. Splice is not done yet. Splice is no, not no. done. No, they no, have no, a no, lot no. of pride. Don't, don't ever say that that first map is a counter for the rest of the game because Fabi are not in the... They're not in yet. <laughs> They've they got a long in. way to go in. against a very, very good team. For Splice, I still think they may go on to win this, but at the same time, they need to pick their heads up after that map because... Oh, I if, if Fab take this one, that's going to be tough. Oh, it's going to be way tough, but I think we'll see a phenomenal series. Stronghold Search and Destroy is going to be a map. The second map in this series, the last one of the weekend. It's the last one of the qualifiers. This is the last person, the last team. We're going to find out who qualifies this weekend. Who's going to go? It's going to be either Splice or Fabi. 
I, I want a read prediction from you. I mean, it's hard. Now I'm saying 3 2 2 Fab. They're turning up, dude. They're really turning up. They're impressing me. And if they keep playing that way, it's definitely going to be compl a complicated one for my boys in the UK. Going into that game, Don. Oh, well, for me, it still has to be Splice. It still has to be the boys from the UK. They've been phenomenal all weekend. They were phenomenal for three quarters on that hop hit. Not quite enough, though. We're going to go oh, in to search point. and destroy on Stronghold, where on board was really definitely the star player from that previous map. Oh, definitely. He's only going to be watching that flank. However, Benz and Josh are in the middle of the map, in position of the bomb. And the first blood coming in from Gunnelly, the captain of the Fabi squad, leading the charge. Now, that might change things up. Which way does Spice want to go now? I mean, they're, they're in a bad position. They haven't really advanced forward. And look at which direction every single member of Fabi is pointing themselves in. I mean, it's very interesting. They're, they're all really Good luck. stacked in that direction, trying not to give anything away because I'm acutely aware some of the players may be able to hear us in the in the arena, so we don't want to give that away. Oh, and that's really not good by Basu. He's going to get picked up by Bansu. Just watching inside there. Sweet. Very easy kill for him. Oh, that's two for Bansu as well. He's picked up two players from Fabi. He's going to be the third as well. Not quite. Kivi takes him. He was slightly weak. So two versus two. Dominate and really taking on Kivi and gonna leap. Crazy reaction time for Benz. Kiwi finding a second read in a 1v2 situation. Oh, he's getting the chase on here. Is he going to be able to tell Kiwi? Kiwi was weak. Is he going to be able to get a second? Not quite. They're not too far away from each other. Which way is going to lead? Going to decide to go? He hasn't spotted him either. So, one versus one between these two teams. What is Reedy going to decide to do? 13 seconds left on the clock. The attacking oh. team has to plant the bomb. Gun Elite against oh, Brady. It's so close between these two. What's Reedy going to do? Is he going to be prepared for it? Is he going to be prepared for oh. it? He's going to come in there for it. Reedy, such smart play. He could have planted it. And you know what Gun Elite thought he was? Reedy held off. He picked up that risky move. That was close. I'm not going to pick it up here. And then Reedy... Oh, you know what? He took a couple of bullets as well there. Quickie. Uh, ah, Gun Elite, was sorry. One. Was not far off from killing him then. So Reedy... With the M8 in hand, walks away with round number one. Chris, <laughs> one versus two for Reedy. He's got to be happy about the performance he's been putting in for his team during this series. Really good plays out of him, going big on the first map. Now 2-0 for him, trying maybe to build his tricks going onto the defensive side. But Fabi now trying to attack, even things up, not going to be able to do so with the open, uh, open kill like they did on the first round because Kiwi was taken out. Killer PCS straight away, three versus three. We're really going to get another kill. He's been so good in this series. It's now three versus two in favor of Splice, who are 1-0 to the good in the map. But Fabi are 1-0 to the good in the series. Which way are uh, Fabi going to go here, do you think? Because they're very much split up. Going to leak, going to get a gunfight coming up here. Reedy's really going to be ready for him again. This is going right. to be hard for Barca. Does any time the Twitch chat want to send your energy? <laughs> it is wow. very much now. Barca, he's been the man it? so far. He's been the man for the German. Can he do this? That would be absolutely huge for his team. Unfortunately, uh, I have a bad feeling. Going to be able to pick up a first kill. Is he going to be able to make any more? Oh, he does have somebody behind him as well. Shot's going to be fired from the front. And that guy behind him, I think, is just trying to stay alive here. Barca is going to run it. Who's that behind him? Is that going to be Reedy? I don't know, but whatever that player is oh, doing, it's kind him. of risky. He hasn't seen him at all. All right, Barca, Barca still in 1v2. Managed to just about get away here and try not to give away anything. And these two players are going to come into contact with each other in a second, but he doesn't really have enough time. Right, play for his streaks now. Yeah, play he really just needs to pay for the streaks. Maybe get a couple of That's kills That's probably here. what Reedy yeah, was doing. he's left it just a little bit too long. He's going to not be able to quite pick up that second kill either. <laughs> For me, yeah, okay, he played it well to even get in that situation and try and stay alive. Who was that on the left side that got killed? Uh, it was, uh, well, this is Reedy who, um, I think it was Bans that must have uh, getting killed in the end there. Yeah, Bans, you can see, Bans, he runs yeah. past and he gets killed. Uh, Reedy, for me, was in a good position just to hold down. They didn't do anything stupid there, Splice, they played that one right. For me... He could have planted that bomb on yeah, the left Barca side on been a lot If you went, he if he went to A, he just planted it, yeah. Yeah, he could have, and he just went for the kills. And 1v2, it's never really going to happen for you, but here we go, moving into the next round. Splice is still going to be a little bit despondent. Reedy is still alive. Up. Yeah, Reedy hasn't done it. He's got to be it? key for that Splice lineup on that SND game. They are now in a 2-0 lead. Fab is going to have to step it up and start making some rounds because if you sniper let a uh, team go 3-0, it's got to be complicated. I heard a sniper shot go yep, up there. That's, that's going to be Bans just trying to have a look here. It's hard to pick to try and get around this area. There's not really much to feed off there. But if you can spot somebody and you've got a good shot, then you can definitely put your team in a position to do something with it. The thing is, yeah, if you can get a pick, you're going to see a massive movement towards B, I'd imagine. But 
which way are Spice setting up? It's not necessarily in that direction. On board with the Bance now, switches to the Pharaoh, of course, Overkill not being banned out this time round in S&D. It's not something we often see escape through. But on Very board with Bance, shots, yeah, shots being fired. That's going to be Kivy taking down Josh. And Josh not having the great series. That's a good shot by Bance, so getting the snap onto Barca. And good work by him. Entering onto that A side, Bance was extremely cautious. Going to be able to pick that first kill, but now the time is playing against Splice. They have 24 seconds left. They need to plant the bomb or make the kills. Bance not going to be able to connect with his sniper. Ready and dominate onto the offense. Ready is still alive and trying to build his trick. Dominate is going to find one and now Gunnelit is in a 1v3 situation. Things have been completely reversed. Well, let's see what Gunnelit can do. He's going to fire his shots away though. This is going to be very, very hard because the bomb is down. Dominate comes in there. That's now 3-0 to Splice in this map. Well, Dominate very strong in that round. I think he found three. Really staying alive with streaks. Able to find down the plant. And he's now going to be extremely close from them. Uh, kind of a wasted round from Fab. There was 25 seconds left. All they had to do was just waiting uh, for uh, for that Splice lineup to, to go plant the bomb. And, and they, they kind of threw away, I, I want to say. Yeah, that was unfortunate. They didn't seem to be able to do anything with the, the position that they were in. And this S&D has looked really good from Splice here. UK team's very strong on it. We saw Infused yeah, as well. Yeah, we, really we have seen Infused being really, really good on this this weekend. And UK teams tend to be very good on this S&D map. And let's see which way the Germans are going to go. I mean, the Germans and the Austrian, I should say. because they obviously And the Swiss, because Quivy is Swiss as well. Oh, well, there you go. I mean, it's, it's just a European team, isn't it? <laughs> so on board now with Gunnelit. See what I can do from this position. It's just a slow game from the German side at the moment. Yeah, the, whatever they've been trying so far has not been working. So they need to change something. They figured that out. They're going to be a lot more cautious. A bit like Ben's last round. Gun late, trying to scout what's going on into the villa. A and B, what's, what, what site are they going to plant that bomb on? Well, B definitely looks the better one to go towards. It's wow. to be a bit That's a really good shot by Gunley. He's going to take down Josh. Not so clean. A good series. It was very, very clean. Yes, you're right. And now they're going to get into a position. Oh, they're going to rotate around for him. I'm not too sure. Gunley is in a great position to do something. And there's somebody jumped over the top of him. Big foot going to come in. Gunley is going to take down Bans. He has overdrive available. I don't Wonderful. think he'll use it this round, though. But Ready here, stay your life. You are yeah. on the full streak. Yeah, for me, I think in this position. And he wants to try and go for it, but from, uh, he's going to play for streaks. You can see he's not really making any moves. He's going to just try and stay alive and go for the streaks this round. He's probably not going to be able to do it either no way. If he, car. if he can get a car, uh, if he can get a kill. Oh, oh, that's not great. He really didn't need that kill. That's two bursts. Didn't he's going to be him. very frustrated about that. But are Fabi going to go for the kill? Are they aware? Should they look towards their scoreboard? Realize really is 4 No, Let's hunt yeah, no. this man down. Really. Just really playing for streaks here, and he's playing it smart. This is definitely the move to make. Well, Fabi playing it safe. What do you think they should be doing? Well, they, they, they are four. They should go for the trade. Um, I think if you calculate the points, he's going to need two kills in order uh, to make that dart. So if he, they go with four players at the same time, best case scenario, really is going to pick one. Oh, there and you go. there you go. He's going to pick up his specialist ability. He needs one more for the dart. However, is he going to be able to make it? Ah, but it's important because he stayed alive. He stayed yeah. alive, so that is very, very well played by Aridi. For and me, comes he play from Fab, I think. Yeah, I think, to be honest, when you're in the game and in the moment, looking at the scoreboards, maybe not something that you'd be doing. I think, you know, as former players ourselves, maybe it's something that, you know, it would have been good if they did manage to pull that off, but really playing see, it well. You can see, he has 675 points. Just got a press tab, and then you can see how many points he has. So, Gun lead the captain, probably knew what was going on. They decided not to go too much on the hunt, just sending one player. Never mind, they got their first round on the board. Now 3-1 to Spice, up to Fabio to defend. Bats is going to get the first pick there, and he's going to take down Kivy, so that may allow them to push through that SVG, really providing to be lethal in his hands. A couple of specialists on the side of Splice as well. This gunfight's going to come up. That is a massive yeah, kill massive. by Quickie. That is huge by him there. Even if they don't win this round, that is massive yeah. from Quickie. Three versus two now. Greedy will be so annoyed. He was so close and he just gets outshot there by Quickie. Greedy, greedy. Um, I honestly think that they, they kind of messed up and they should have given the bomb to Reedy and just go for a quick plant on B. Just send oh, everyone uh, to protect and clear the bomb site and just build up those streaks, uh, even if it was to lose the round, um, to be able to do something with it. However, Josh going zero and four. The bomb has Look at Quickie. Planted. Look at Quickie around the bat. 
The bomb does go down. Quick shot's going to be fired towards the bomb. He's got somebody really pinned there, but he can stay alive there. Let's see what Gunley can do from this position. Just trying to have a look through there. And let's see what he can do here. He's in a good position, but Banzer's in a better one. He takes down Gunley. What can Quickie do? He's in a one versus three. He's got the bomb to defuse it to Mission Impossible for the German. What can he do from this position? He's going to go for the kill. Not going to happen. Dominic it makes it 4 1 splice. And it's looking good for them in the SD. Definitely looking good for the UK. Um, Josh having a struggle, but on the other end, what is what solid plays out of the other three players? I mean, really, we've seen him go on a big streak, kind of greedy this round, dying when he was so close to his streak. Benz, uh, six kill as well, and dominate finally the most solid player out of uh, this uh, splice lineup, if you ask me. We've seen him with crazy shots onto the first up point, and now making every shot matter with his M8 on this SND into a 4-1 lean for the UK. Need Barca to really try and Ooh. inspire What's going them on? here. Oh, big gun fight's going to go down. Wow, look at all the players. They're all over the place here. Oh, that's, that's oh, psychosis, it was, yeah. It was, it was psychosis. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> and I'm looking at the I was top looking at the I, was I, was like, like, Whoa. I was like, there's 20 players on the map. How is that possible? But on board with Barca still, psychosis has been popped by one of the members of Splice. On board that's now. a weird use. Yeah, it was a weird use as well, but I mean, I suppose it just sort of drew some people out and you can sort of see which way they were going to be pushing, but Kibby gets the kill on to dominate. Let's see what they can do from here. Well, Kibby definitely making some surprise on to Splice. Got to find a second, now make it 4v2. Fab may be able to bring this back to 4 2 Quickie going to find one more, really still alive. Josh in a 1v3 situation. On board with Josh here with the VMP. Let's see what he can do from this position. One versus three. If he wants to start stepping in up, that would have been the time. But Kibby's going to get the kill. Sticky, sticky. On to Fabi. Yes, sticky, sticky. Kibby. I, don't, I don't know what you mean by that. No, <laughs> sneaky, sneaky, I mean, oh, sorry. Sneaky, sneaky. Pardon my French. Sticky. <laughs> <laughs> Kiwi is going to find three. Um, good news for Fab. It seems like Kiwi um, is waking up in that SND. Maybe eat things up. We've seen how crazy he can get. Probably um, the best SMG in Germany. And maybe even the best player in Germany. I think uh, he's going to have to fight with... Uh, the Austrian? With Austrian. So <laughs> definitely the best Austrian player I know. Uh, I'll tell you what ton. It Probably because he's the only one. However, Barca may be able to be that best German player with what he's been showing so far. Yeah, he's, uh, he's done fantastically well so far. and really has sort of shown his worth this weekend. Of course, coming in as a YouTube. Oh, that's going to be Josh going to just escape with his life there. And imagine he's very, very weak. And in the back of a note in five, Josh will be happy to see himself walk Ooh. away from that one. But which way are they going to push here? He's got Dominic in tow with him, Josh. Who are watching now. 4-2 to Splice. This is still evenly put. Oh, he's dead at the moment. Reedy's going to get a kill. He's got the Annihilator out. Let's jump on board with him very, very quickly if we can with Reedy. And actually, Dominate's going to get a kill there. What can Reedy do with the remaining life on this Annihilator? It's not going to happen anything for him, but Bantz does get a kill on the boss. It's currently a 1 versus 4 for Gun Elite. Is he in a position to do something here, Jonas? I don't think he is. It's going to be very hard for him as the bomb is going to go down. He's got the shots being fired by the MR6. That shot and jump not really going to help him out. For me, he just needs to try and stay alive. Uh, not going to happen. And Josh picks up his first kill. That will be very important for his confidence. Absolutely. For a second, I saw he was going to mimic his friend, James Bond, and go for the 0-7. <laughs> However, Josh going to find one. 5-2 for Splice. Um, they are so close to making that uh, that first map, going to the board, type things up, and uh, that would be very comfort uh, good for their boost. However, if Fabi was able to bring that back, do you imagine? Uh, I could imagine, but you know, just because we're all British doesn't mean we all know James Bond, okay? Oh, everyone knows James Bond, Come Everyone on. knows James Bond. I'm actually going to live next door to the Queen, would you imagine? On board now with Barter. Two to five for him. Not having as good a game as he did in the previous huh. game. Oh, overdrive's been used. Overdrive Has that overdrive been used? Well, look, yeah, Josh is really pushing around and getting aggressive here with Splice. Put the shops being put in, and they're just really trying to corner Fabi oh. in here. And yeah, they're going to try and get away. Shop's going to go down. Yeah, and you know, it's still a good work. They, they push around, they cause some problems, but Josh is in a great position here. Oh, that's such a sneaky play. Let's see what Josh can do oh, here. No. Oh, Gun Elite outsmarting Josh. Very, very good play by Gun Elite. Josh really not having the greatest of series here. One and six from him. Bance is going to get a kill on the quickie, though. Answer him back three versus three. Boss is going to jump in there and get shot from inside the house near A. Does manage to survive, though, and he gets himself in a good position. He does get taken down. The bomb is being dropped as well. Really out shooting Barca there. Great shots. Gun Elite going to trade as well. So trade's coming backwards and forwards between these two teams. Bantz is going to take out Gun Elite, though. So Kimmy is left in the one versus two to keep them in the map. Let's see what he can do. Bantz and Reedy are the last two alive. who are eight and two and nine and four apiece. Kimmy needs to do th something special here. Has the M8 in hand. Doesn't have the bomb. 
Which way is it That's going to go? a complicated one for Kivi. Can he make it count for the German side? Oh, going to find a great kill on, on to Reedy. Ten seconds left. What's going to happen? Benz, Kivi. Bans just needs to steal it. That's all he needs to do here. Yeah. And he's in the right position to do something. Kimmy's going to look for each other. They're going to come up against each other. Oh. Kimmy just can't get the shot. Bans gets away. The map's going to go over to Splice. And good work by them to level the series up. A very, very comfortable s and win. And here's the final kill that we did see in that round. It was from Bans. But of course, we did go down to a 1v1. I, and I got worried. I really got yeah. worried. That was unlucky. Like, it literally chose a direction to run away and somehow I think bumped into Kivi in mid map. Kivi not able to connect, but that, that was close. I think if Kivi had made that kill, the tilt that would have been back, massive yeah. from Splice. <laughs> I mean, I think it would have been very, very hard to really regain your heads from that. But I mean, it's all here, sir.